Got us a little sea breeze in here. Look at this. Gee, I don't know if you can see right there. It's starting to come right down. Got a little metal roof on it. We had to take the awning off so we get the door in there. You know, get the door open so we can get inside. More die cord slobbered, slobbered, slobbered. Uh, don't need to be putting all this stuff on. You know, even right here, I'm just pulling that with my finger. Okay, so. We're gonna strip it up. You got a big bubble right here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. It's a big bubble. So we're gonna tear all this off and then um, obviously take all the metal off and everything and then get obviously get a roof on. But we gotta see what, obviously what's underneath this too. So this is kind of a mess. A weird plumbing way back here. We'll have to negotiate that out for what we're gonna do with that. So we'll come up with something. It looks like somebody did try to put a coating on here. That's what it is, flaking off. We got leaks coming around here. It just leaks everywhere. This thing just leaks, leaks, leaks. So, and this is metal. So, this, uh, that's metal. We're gonna uh, aluminum. Like you said, we're gonna tear it all off. But that's um, that's the RV industry's way of solving their problems. So, there's probably not anything inside and around in there to keep them sealed. So, we'll renegotiate this whole deal and make it look nice and pretty. That's what we do. And then we're going to have to get these solar panels up. We'll get them all up on a frame. And then they get obviously get wired back up, right? We got the wherever they're coming from. We'll find all that out. But I just wanted to give you an overview of what we got going on here with this little sea breeze. But uh, boy, they packed everything on this little roof. Yes, everything. Not very much roof in itself that you can see compared to what's on the roof, right. right? Now what we're trying to do is we got the roof off the metal, the aluminum is off. We've got some serious saggage going on, especially right in here. So what is, and this is just foam on here. So underneath the aluminum right here, there's the aluminum piece. It's just foam. Hey, it's all that's there. So, but it does look like I've got two layers of foam. I got another one there. So I'm probably going to skin this layer off because that's rotted, so that's got to get fixed. That's what's causing that big belly right in there. And then uh, we're going to investigate this too, but it'll expose all that and see how good or bad we got, what we got going on, what we need to repair. And then that back corner over there, that's just soaked. So we may have a little bit to do on this little Toyota. We've got quite the sag here. So. Looks to be a little better than two inches on here. Let's see if I show it. Or maybe just that on this. That's a heck of a gap. That's a heck of a sag. So we're going to tear it all out and redo the whole thing. We're just making a new Bible. We call that a Bible. Because that's what we got to go by. I'm going to get everything all plastic off. And then uh, now what we're doing is collecting up all any personal items. We're going to put them in boxes. And then we're going to stow them up underneath. We don't want to get anything, you know, stuff that we can pull out from the cabinets and everything. And then you can see the whole roof ceiling is off, and that's what we're building right now. So we got the roof uh, and the ceiling all rebuilt. You can see all the ply foam we've got in here. It's all glued together. We had glue in there, and then I also used some other adhesive in there to kind of bond it all together. Because if it's a bonded all together, that's going to work. It'll keep it nice and tight. So. We also put some camber on this, got a little bit of camber, and uh, now what we're doing is just trying to run some wires down there, and get everything done, roof deck goes on, we'll get some roofing. Coming together. Right, we are getting our roof glued on, you can see we got all our buffer strips going across there, even brought some around the back and the front, and so now we're getting the glue on there, we already did the passenger side, it's already been glued, it's already been set and rolled, so we just got this side here, and then um, start getting our curbs in here. So she's coming back. All right, now we got this rolled over and we go over it with our balance roller. Then we hit it with the big and squash her all down. Ready to go. All right, we are done with our tiny little Toyota. You can see how we got everything mounted up on the frame. Everything's all heat welded here. Curbs heat welded. Everything's heat welded. We got the solar panels mounted, special bolts that go down into the frame. They sit obviously on this frame all the way down. 
wires already ran, Ziploc tied in there. I'd like to see them up a little better, but the way these ones run are kind of different from the other ones we've ever done. So that may be something. He may want to get some extension for those. But uh, everything is all heat welded in here. We are ready to go. So this is a 60 mil TPO. That's what it is. It's thermoplastic. That's why it all heat welds together. Even if this bell cap popped off, if it did, that just there's it's sealed up underneath there. So anything, even if that popped off, it would just go down into the holding tank. The one thing that was kind of weird on this is so where the plumbing pipe was, it was really out here. So we just want to get it more on the roof, but I don't really like it in the center there, but I don't know if there's much we can do about it. There's not a lot of room in here to move things around, so we were able to move that pipe. There's actually a door right here, and we were able to keep the, the pipe right up high above the door so you wouldn't notice it when you go in. Um, that's the only thing we could do other than that. It, you can't fit it anywhere else. So, the, uh, let's see, we, everything's been sealed. We put new gutters on there, new gutter spouts, put new rail on there. So everything's ready to go. And we got our stands in the back, use the air conditioning some balance. And then, um, let's see, I'm going to show you some more stuff here. We get a lot of other videos that you can watch as well. But one of the things that we do here on the air conditioning, you see we've got a cowl down there. There's another counter flash that we call it. So when the water is coming down this way off of here in the rain, it'll drip down. And then it goes up underneath. There's a flange up underneath there. Another piece of counter flash. Much like this one has right there. So it will drool down and it'll run out. Same exact design. So, but uh, that's our... Uh, that's our little Toyota. There's, again, there's a 60 mil commercial grade structured TPO. Then along here, some of the other things you do are two strikes. So this is glued on. This gutter rail, we put an adhesive caulk behind it. And then we put the screws in. And then we put a strike on there. And then when that cures, we put yet another strike. So we get plenty of strikes on there. This coach didn't even have gutters. And everything was drooling down the side. And that's just... It's not good for it at all. You want to keep that water off the side of the coach. It, one, it's, you know, on typical roofs, all that filth just kind of rolls off of there. So, But um, we appreciate you watching. If you got any questions, you can give us a call, 423-475-7663. That's 423-475-ROOF. Uh, you can also go to our website, which is rvroofinstall.com. Or and then you go here, RVI. RVRI.com. Okay, so we put this brand on here, so now we can see how the roof is performing. When he comes back in for inspections, we can, you know, years down the road, we go, hey, when was this roof put on? We can see. So if we have any issues, any failures, or anything, uh, we can get with the manufacturer and say, hey, why did this roof fail? It's a 20-year system. That's what this roof is—a 20-year. Same exact product you're going to find on a hotel, office building, library. Same exact installation procedures. This would literally pass commercial building code. And what I've done here is just design the roof so they uh, function properly for an RV. But if you were to look up commercial roof images, you would see the air conditioner, the vents, all those vents. You'd see all these things elevated off the roof line. That's how a commercial roof functions. So, well, we appreciate you watching. I'm going to show you the interior here. Hopefully, the camera can pick it up pretty good. Just wanted to give you a glimpse so you can see what the ceiling looked like. Right here. So it'll come up pretty nice. Put some new trim up in the centers there and everything. That'll look pretty good. Nice and clean. <laughs>